Hello, uh, this is Mike Radionov, and here is the second part of the tutorial about creating V-Ray-like realistic light with Blender and Blender internal renderer. So, in first part, we created the uh, realistic light set on a sample example on a small room and uh, three colored boxes. So, right now, we should proceed to the Every motion scene, which I showed uh, in the very, very first frames of the first tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we will set up the clay render of the every motion scene that I showed in first tutorial. Okay, here is the result. And in the third part, in the last part, we will set up the materials. So, okay. Let's go to the Blender, to the 3D view, and I will do absolutely the same that I did before. I'll just hide all the lights to the layer 0, and we'll add them light by light to show you how it's set it up and how it works. The third layer, they are separate group of lights uh, that are, should be deleted. Well, just because uh, these lights are clones of the main lights and we will just clone them once again in the future to make it more clear. So, here is our scene without any lights and there are two render layers here on the since it up. Uh, I will describe the meaning of these render layers a bit later. Uh, right now I will describe what is the clay material. Clay material is a simple material uh, that I applied on a cube. This material is a simple gray material without a specular, without reflection, so it is just simple gray material that I named it clay. And then I apply this material to two render layers to the render layer with the, the all of the scene and to the Windows render layer. Okay, let's take a look at the scene structure and I will describe to you step by step what I did to make this realistic clay render. Okay, uh, just like in the previous scene with the, the small room and cubes. I selected the sailing and sailing is on a different layer from the rest of the room uh, just to light it separately from the rest of the room. Then I selected the windows just to light them separately also. I will describe you in uh, the next 15 minutes why I separated uh, the windows uh, from the rest of the scene too. Okay, so let's go to the layer 0 and let's add a sunlight. Okay. Select all the layers for rendering and let's disable the windows render layer. Oh no, let, let it be. So, uh, let's set up the size of the image about 40% just to make it render quick there is no ambient occlusion and let's render the first image okay here is the sun lighted image okay now let's take a look at the sun properties uh, since I imported this scene from the from the OBG format, uh, it's a bit out of the scale. So, the scale of the lights, the scale uh, of the uh, shadows and the shadow samples uh, just uh, a bit differ from the previous scene. And, well, actually, these values are values to play with. So, the uh, sound samples are 16 and the soft size is not one meter but uh, 10 meters just to make this sun shadows more uh, attractive more smooth but not very smooth so 
I just played with this value just because of the scale is not real because of imported geometry and this is not a geometry created from scratch well it's an uh, import issue but we could work with it so let's add the sailing light to this scene okay uh, the sailing like is pretty similar uh, to the first tutorial scene. It is uh, cold, it is very smooth, it has a low gamma and low energy, it has ray shadows uh, just like as uh, ray shadows in the previous scene. So, so let's proceed and add the balls and add the ball lights to the scene. Here they are. Okay, uh, every, every these slides is a linked duplicate of each other, so their energy is pretty slow, the gamma is very slow, so these slides are very smooth, just for making the soft reflected light. Here is the floor light portal. It is warm just like in a previous scene. This gamma is low and the samples are just the same as uh, the sailing light portal. So let's go to the main scene with this light portals. Oh, I forgot to add the window lights. Well, the window lights have uh, the normal gamma and the window lights have uh, the more energy. Well, actually, this is a value which I played to make it well more attractive. Uh, each of these lights uh, has the same values of the samples, just to simulate the light that will go out of the sky. Let's take a look at the small rendering. Okay, the small rendering is done. So right now we have well pretty good lighting here, but this lighting is pretty cold. And uh, since we have the sun, uh, the reflected light should be a bit warmer. And also we have the windows are very dark, and we have uh, this part of the ceiling is pretty dark too. So just like in the previous scene, we should add the window reflected light simulators. So these big sphere lights are the window reflected light simulators. These lights are all duplicated to the uh, linked. So I will place them to the layer one. And let's take a look at this rendering. with these light portals. Okay. Well, yes. Well, the window reflected light simulators gave up uh, overlighted areas near each window. Well, these overbrighted areas on clay render will look much more realistic with materials because actually clay is a pretty light material so when we will apply a texture to this wall this overbrighted area will go on so it will not look so overbrighted as it is right now and uh, right now we have this wall not so dark but we have a problem we have a problem that our windows are overlighted there are overbrighted and this window is looking fake to me because well in real life and on V-ray renderings the windows are not so overbrighted or lighted with the reflected light so uh, that is why I placed the windows into separate layer into layer 3 and that is why I added the new render pass and named it windows these render pass uh, contains only the one layer to render. That's render three. On this renders are our window 
and I set it up mask layers. This is layer 1 and layer 2. That means that uh, this layer, layer 3, will be masked and uh, it will have an alpha channel that will be a cut mask for this layer. So right now I will go to the layer 1 and we'll add all the lights but not the reflected skylight portals, not these big spheres. Only the sailing lights, the wall lights, the sun and the floor light. Okay, it looks that I selected all. Oh, no, not all. I will need the skylights too. Okay. Okay, and then let's duplicate it and place it to the layer 3. Okay. Right now, uh, what shall we do? We shall turn on the this layer option only. So that means that these lights will not light the layer 1 and layer 3. So that means that we will have our windows lighted with these lights. Right? And for this particular layer pass of the dynamic windows, these windows will be rendered separately from the rest of the stand but with this light set. Without these uh, lights that will simulate the reflected light from the windows. So let's take a look at the rendering with our new rendered layer. And and I will describe how I combine these layers with the compositing nodes. So let's wait for a while until it renders our render passes, the main pass and the window pass that contains a window separately lighted from the rest of the scene. So then we will combine these render layers with the compositing nodes. Let's wait for a while. Okay, it is finished rendering and let's take a look at the compositing nodes that I set it up to combine these two layer passes. So I added the viewer node and here is our first main render layer with overbrighted windows. And here is our second layer without uh, Skylight portals, I mean without reflected skylight portals, these are these big sphere light simulating. Okay, let's go to the node editor. And then I edit the mix node and I mix it up these two layer passes by the alpha value. So uh, then I added the RGB curves, and since the windows are rendered a bit darker than they should be. I just added an RGB curves node and make them a bit brighter. So after combining, I can variate the brightness of the windows. So I think that this would be pretty good. So we have the, them a bright, but not very bright as on the first render layer. Less bright and that looks much better. Okay, so let's go to the layer 0 and add a reflected sunlight portal. Okay, this is a simple rectangle light, the area light. It is located just uh, where the sun is straightly flowing on the floor, so just on the sunlighted areas. It is warm color, so let's take a look at the final rendering with this reflected sun light portal. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, the walls become a bit warmer, not so cold. It is pretty nice. So we have the cold, overbrighted areas and the warm surfaces mix it up. That's cool. And the second render layer and the second render layer will give us not overlighted windows. That will look pretty good. Okay, 
uh, right now we have finished rendering and right now it has a bit warmer reflected light uh, right now we have warmer surfaces here and here and a bit here but uh, these surfaces are not totally warm for me so I will add a bit more of the reflected light simulators so these are two fear lights that will simulate the reflected light on the recognizable on the visible surfaces so here is the sofa uh, that is standing just near the over brighted sun area and here is the fireplace with the sofa with the small table that should have the reflected light too so i added two sphere lights that have no shadows that is why i added two sphere lights uh, to this uh, and uh, the energy is this value is a value to play with since i imported this scene to blender from obg uh, this scene is out of scale so the distance is pretty big but it is not more than the height of the room than the ceiling height uh, just like in the previous tutorial so the main principles are the same okay so it is warm just to simulate the warm reflected light on the sofa okay it is and let's render the final image okay it is almost done and we have this soft well warm reflected light on the sofa here and on the fireplace on the small table yes so let's cancel this and let's render well the final image of this i will render this 75 percent because well it is just a simple clay render so it does not should be really big okay it is finishes rendering well actually it's pretty fast so here is the rendered image well this is the clay render it is over brighted in some areas but just because of the clay material because the clay material is very light so we have the over brighted areas we have the cold light from the sky we have the warm light from the sun and from the sun reflected light we have light from the ceiling from the uh, window well it looks pretty good to me well uh, in the next part we will set up the materials to the sand and we will get the photorealistic result with blender internal thank you for your time bye